How to play Please Donate on a mobile phone. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Please Donate tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stand with buttons so that you can start accepting donations and Please Donate in Roblox. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. All right, so as you can see, if I go up to an empty stand here and try to claim it, it's going to give me a little plus symbol on my stand. It doesn't actually add any buttons. And that's because I need to list items for sale so that people can donate to me on Please Donate. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to list those items. And we're going to be doing game passes because they're free to list. And I'll be showing you how to do this on your iPhone or your Android phone. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is actually close Roblox on your phone. So swipe it away. And then we just want to open a browser on our phone. And this can be either Safari or the Chrome browser and navigate to roblox.com. Once you see this screen right here where it says continue an app, directly below that, select continue in browser. Once you do that, log into your Roblox account. And then once you're logged in, it'll load Roblox. And the first thing we need to do once Roblox loads is request the desktop version of Roblox. And this will be different based on your phone or browser. But if you're on an iPhone in the Safari browser, you just want to select the two A's next to the address bar and then select request desktop site. And on an Android phone in the address bar, we just need to find the three vertical dots. It should be near the address bar in your browser. Select those three dots and then scroll down and select desktop site right there. This will then reload Roblox in the desktop version. It might also look like this where it's three horizontal dots. Go ahead and select that. And then you just need to scroll down and select request desktop site. Once you've requested the desktop version of Roblox and it reloads the website, all you need to do is go up to the top menu and select create. You'll then be taken to the creator's dashboard under the experience tab. Once you're here, simply scroll down and right below where it says create experience, you should see your place. Now by default, all Roblox users have a place. So all we need to do is select the place right there. Once our place loads, select the three horizontal lines on the top left to open the menu. And then in the menu, select associated items. Now that we're on associated items, select passes in the top menu right up here. And then we just need to select create a pass. So in order for us to create a pass, we need to upload an image and keep in mind, it can only be these three formats here, JPEG, PNG, and BMP. So no GIFs or anything like that. So go ahead and select upload image and then simply select an image. Keep in mind, this image will be displayed on your stand in please donate. And it also has to be approved by Roblox moderators. Once you select an image, select choose. And then it will add that image to Roblox. From there, we just need to give our game pass a name and keep in mind, this will also be displayed on your stand and please donate. Once you give it a name, you can give it a description, but you don't have to, and then just go to the bottom and select create pass. Once we select create pass, it'll bring us back to our associated items where then we'll be able to see the game pass we just created. Now the image won't show up initially because it does have to be approved by Roblox. So it'll look like this. Go ahead and select the game pass that we just created. And when it brings us to the basic settings here, select the menu button again in the top left, the three horizontal lines, and then the menu under details, select sales. Now we need to list that item for sale. And we do that by first hitting the toggle button next to item for sale. And then we need to list the price for this game pass. And this will be how much will be donated to us on please donate if someone purchases this. Now keep in mind, you only will get 70% of this amount. So if I put 10 Robux as the price, I'm only going to earn seven Robux because Roblox will keep 30% of those. So you just need to come up with your price and then select save changes. Now that we've saved our game pass for sale, you can go up to the menu again, then we can go back to our associated items here and you should see your game pass and it should have Robux listed under it. That means it'll show up on our stand. So now when we open up Roblox and then open up, please donate. When we walk up to an unclaimed stand, once you see claim stand here, simply tap and hold that. You'll see the new game pass show up on your stand where then people can purchase that for whatever amount you gave that. So now we're ready to start accepting donations and please donate. If you want to change the text that's displayed at the top of the stand, simply hit the little pencil button in the left menu of please donate here and then type whatever you want. Once you've typed it, select apply. And then there you go. Your stand will be updated with that new text. And if for some reason your buttons don't show up on your stand, go ahead and completely close Roblox on your phone and then reopen it again. And it should appear the next time you claim a stand. And if you'd like to have a stand like this, that's more unique, 
Check the description because I have a tutorial going over that. You can also purchase a sign in Please Donate that'll allow you to walk anywhere in Please Donate and accept donations. And check the description, I have a tutorial going over how to get that as well and set it up. All right, so that's how you play Please Donate on your iPhone or Android phone. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Please Donate tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Engaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.